Uh, we'll sh we shall start with module three. So, in the uh, question number five, a evaluate uh, triple integral. Triple integral, integral zero to one, integral zero to square root of one minus x square, integral zero to square root of one minus x square minus y square, x y z d z d y d x required to find integral of these two. So now I will name the triple integral as i, and I want to find the integral uh, uh, limits here. Uh, stands for uh, what are all the variables. So we shall uh, find out that. So now this uh, first uh, integral stands for uh, z. The first integral stands for z. Uh, the the second one stands for uh, y, and this uh, stands for x. How do I uh, rectify that one? Stands for uh, z, y, x. If uh, the this integral limit uh, st uh, is a function of x, y, then this limit stands for z. If this uh, limit uh, is a function of uh, x. This limit stands for y, and finally left out with x. That's why it is x. So dz dy dx as per the derivatives. Now integrating with respect to z, we are going to get integral of x y z square. X y is constant. Integral of z is z square. Uh, substitute the limits for z. We are going to get uh, square root and square and get get cancel. Lower limit is zero. So multiply x y inside. You are going to get x y. Into one x y x y minus uh, x square is x y x cube y minus x y cube. Integrate with respect to y. We are going to get the following values and substitute the limits for y. Square root and square get cancelled over there. Square root and square root get cancelled. So expanding that, we are going to get. Now expanding this, we got this, and integrating with respect to x, we got this, and uh, finally substituting the limits uh, for x, we got the value of uh, uh, i as 1 over 48. So we have expanded the value here and uh, simplified and integrated this value with respect to x. Integral of x power 5 is x power 6 by 6. A integral of x power 3 is x power 4 by 4. Integral of x is x square by 2. Substituting the limits, we get 1 by 48. Consider question number 5b. Evaluate integral minus 2 to 2, integral 0 to square root of 4 minus x square, 2 my integrand is 2 minus x dy dx by changing the order of uh, integration. So I will consider the given problem as i. So the limit stands for x equal to minus 2 to 2, minus 2 to 2, y stands for 0 to square root of 4 minus x square. 2 minus x dy dx. I want to change the order now. dy should be changed to dx and dx should be changed to dy. So, so we should uh, uh, write the graph for this. So here uh, y stands for uh, what, what is the curve we should have. We have. Let us see. So as the curve is uh, y equal to square root of 4 minus x square. We are squaring on both the side. I got y square equal to 4 minus x square. Simplifying that. I got a circle of the form y x square plus y square equal to 2 square. So it is a circle with radius as 2. So I am going to draw that uh, circle and uh, uh, boundary the region and, bound, uh, and find the bounded region. Find the bounded region over there. So that is y equal to 0. That is the circle. Uh, that is uh, the region x equal to minus 2 to 2 x equal to 2 and and uh, that is uh, therefore the bounded region is uh, only the upper bound only the bounded region is here upper bound this is the bounded region now this uh, value stands for x equal to minus 2 and this stands for y x equal to 2 and this line stands for y equal to 2 so therefore uh, if you seen vertically now you should see horizontally so now as uh, the value stands for y equal to 0 uh, to the curve, now let us see the curve to the curve, this curve to curve, simplify that curve and uh, you are going to get uh, the curves there, uh, x equal to plus or minus square root of uh, uh, square root of 2 minus uh, 4 minus y square, you are going to get plus or minus square root of y square. 
so how we got this is the way we got the curve here substituting the limits we change the limits there integrating this with respect to x we got this value after integration substituting the limits so upper limit minus of minus lower limit uh, it going to get uh, two times of that upper limit minus lower limit get cancelled here so 2 into 2 4 times and uh, we know it is a standard integral integrating that with respect to y we are going to get 4 times of y by 2 square root of 4 minus y square plus 4 by 2 into sine inverse of y by 2 y equal to 0 to 2 substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit I get 0 in the first term substitute the lower limit so simplifying this I got the I got the value of i as 4 pi. This is the way to solve the problem. Now we shall consider a standard problem 5c to that uh, beta gamma relation, relation between beta and gamma. Beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. Write all the standard uh, formulas of beta of m comma n, gamma of n, gamma of m, gamma of m plus n. Then finally, I will go with gamma of m into gamma of n. Gamma of m and uh, m into gamma of n is nothing but multiplying equation 2 and 3. We get 2 into 2, 4 times of integral 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity. Bases are same, add the powers. We get and name that as equation 5. Name that as equation 5. Now put uh, to get this standard form beta in terms of gamma. I am going with a uh, substitution called uh, Cartesian to polar form. Put x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. Squaring and adding uh, those two values, we get uh, x square plus y square equal to r square. And uh, theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 and r varies from 0 to infinity. Uh, dx dy becomes r dr d theta. r dr d theta. All these substitutions will be taken place. So then equation 5 becomes, uh, we are going to get uh, equation 5 as gamma of m into gamma of n is equal to 4 times of integral r equal to 0 to infinity, theta equal to 0 to pi by 2, e power minus r square, r cos theta over for 2n minus 1. So simplifying, just substitution, uh, x and y. Here bases are same of r, simplifying the powers of r, we get r power 2n 2m plus 2n minus 1. Simplify and now going to splitting uh, the values of r and uh, theta. I'm going to split the uh, integral values of r and theta and using uh, equation 4 and 1. Using equation 4 and 1, I got gamma of m into gamma of n as gamma of m plus n into gamma beta of m comma n. Finally, I required beta of m comma n as gamma of m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n is the standard way of representing the relation between beta and gamma. Now we shall go for uh, uh, choice problem. Evaluate uh, double integral y ds dy over uh, the region bounded by the first quadrant uh, of the ellipse. I have considered ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Consider an ellipse. So it is bounded by first quadrant. So I will going to shade only the first quadrant of that. So therefore theta ranges from here uh, the value, the first quadrant. In the first quadrant uh, the values of x and y ranges from x ranges from 0 to a and uh, y ranges from 0 to that curve. So solve for that curve. I am solving that curve. I got b by a to square root of a square minus x square. Just substitute in this value as we have y here that's why I have taken uh, the limit y first to integrate that. I have integrated that part integration. So substituting the limits. Next uh, integrate with respect to x integral of a square minus 6. Uh, so integrating that substituting the limits and simplifying that we got the integral value as a square a b square by 3. Similarly, we shall go for uh, question number uh, b, 6b. Find by double integration the area enclosed by 
the curve r equal to a into 1 plus cos theta is nothing but a cordiae between theta equal to 0 and pi. If you change theta to minus theta, the uh, cos of minus theta is cos theta. Therefore, we can say that the given curve is symmetric. So consider the graph figure. It is a cordiae symmetric about the origin, symmetric about the origin. So it is bounded over uh, upper uh, upper region. So uh, the area is given by double integral of r into dr d theta. R ranges from zero to a. Uh, 0 to the curve a cos a times of 1 plus cos theta. Theta ranges from 0 to pi. So integrating with respect to r we got and substituting the limits upper limit and 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta by 2. So simplifying that part 2a square so we got uh, 0 to pi here and theta by 2. So simplifying that theta by 2 as u d theta will be 2 du so 2 du here so simplifying this uh, as theta ranges from 0 to pi put uh, theta equal to 0 here u is also 0 put theta equal to pi you are going to get uh, theta u as pi by 2 so therefore u ranges from 0 to pi by 2 it becomes uh, 2 a square u equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos power 4 u d theta so by reduction formula we can uh, integrate this cos power 4 u as cos power 4 u can be integrated by reduction formula 4 minus 1 is uh, 3 by 4 into 1 by 2 into pi by 2 so simplifying that we are going to get the area of the cardioid is 3 pi a square by 4 square units we shall go for 6c show that integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta divided by square root of sin theta into square root of uh, 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin theta d theta equal to pi. So consider uh, LHS here. I have considered LHS as integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta divided by square root of uh, sin theta into 0 to pi by 2 square root of sin theta d theta. So we have a standard formula sin power p theta cos power q theta is given by 1 by 2 times of beta of uh, p plus 1 by 2 comma q plus 1 by 2. So I am going to simplify this part and uh, simplify this part in terms of cos and uh, sin. So I got uh, sin power minus theta over minus 1 by 2 theta cos power 0 cos power 0 theta. Similarly square root of sin theta can be written as sin power 1 by 2 theta into cos power 0 theta d theta. Putting uh, p equal to minus 1 by 2 and q equal to 0. Here p equal to 1 by 2 and q equal to 0. I got I got uh, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 beta of 1 by 4 comma 1 by 2 beta of 1 beta of 3 by 4 comma 1 by 2 by using the uh, definition of uh, relation between beta and gamma we can rewrite that as 1 by 4 times of uh, gamma of 1 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2 divided by gamma of uh, 3 by 4 here gamma of 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 is uh, root pi root pi into root pi is pi by by 4 the uh, simplified part of gamma of uh, 3 by 4 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 4. This is what uh, after all simplification I got the value as uh, pi here. So what I have done here just a simplification of I have used the definition of uh, beta and gamma relation to apply that relation. This is nothing but gamma of 3 by 4. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is uh, 3 by 4. Gamma of 3 by 4, gamma of 3 by 4 get cancelled. I have simplified gamma of 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 as 1 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 4. How we come across? Uh, we come with uh, gamma of 5 by 4 after simplifying this part. So gamma of 5 by 4 can be expressed as uh, gamma of 1 by 4 plus 1. It becomes uh, gamma of n plus 1. Gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma n. Using the definition 1 by 4 into gamma 1 by 4 where I have written. So uh, 4, 4 get cancelled, 1 by gamma 1 by 4, gamma 1 by 4 get cancelled. Finally, we are left with 5. This is the module 3.